In this video, we're going to look at how to build your own cryptocurrency. So we're going to be building a cryptocurrency on the Algorand uh, blockchain. So uh, on this network, we can actually create a proof of stake uh, cryptocurrency. Um, we just need to buy some algo. And then from there, we can create our own um, coins and start trading them. The first step is to download the Para Algo wallet to your phone. So I have that installed here. If I open that, um, I'm going to have to enter my PIN. I already have um, an account set up, but if you need to set up an account, click the uh, little plus button here, create a new account, create a new account. It's going to um, present the passphrase for you. You should write that down. It's going to validate that. And then you're going to have a um, Algorand wallet available. So that's what I have here. My account is these algos. And if I click that, um, you're going to have uh, algos that you can put in here. Uh, you can also buy more through MoonPay. So you'll have to set that up. Um, you can also transfer them from things like Coinbase. Um, to get your wallet's um, address, you're going to click these three little buttons up here and say copy address. So first thing to do is get some algo available so that we can um, create our cryptocurrency based on that. If you do want to send um, cryptocurrency from something like Coinbase, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Coinbase, log in, you're going to click this Pay tab, and then you're going to have the, the Send option, and you're going to select Algorand, um, and then you're going to put the address of your Para wallet in here. So that was copied from that app, and you can you know email that to yourself or um, text it to yourself or type it in if you really want to. Um, just make sure that it's correct here, and then you'll be able to send as much algo as you want. I think Coinbase, you have to wait seven days after you um, deposit money to actually um, send that money to your uh, Algorand wallet um, on Para. Uh, the next step is to actually set up your uh, cryptocurrency, and we can use uh, algodesk.io to do that. So if you go to algodesk.io, you're going to want to click Launch App, and um, you're going to want to select mainnet and then we're going to connect a wallet so uh, we're going to actually connect our para wallet to um, algodesk so click connect wallet then you can go to uh, para wallet here it's going to show you a qr code and um, inside para what you can do is you can actually click this little uh, qr code scanner and then you're going to put that um, let's see Take a picture of that, and then you're going to connect your algo desk to um, your para wallet. So then you're going to click connect, and now you can see that algo desk updated, and our wallet is now connected. Um, I have some other cryptocurrencies here. You can see there's my address, and what we're going to actually do is cl uh, click create asset. So we're going to create some mine coins, and our units are going to be ore. Um, the total supply, let's say, is. I don't know, 100 million. And from there, you can just click Create. So this will actually um, require a small amount of algo to actually create this. So we click Create, and that's going to create asset. And then on our para wallet, what's going to happen is it's going to prompt us and ask if um, we want to confirm this. You can see there's a small network fee for doing this. Um, and we will confirm. And we'll say, are you sure? And now our transaction is being um, processed. And on um, Algodesk, you can see the transaction was successful. And now we have our own mine coins. So you can see here, I have mine coins. Uh, it has 10 million uh, ore available. So we have now created our own cryptocurrency. The next step is to go to tinyman.org. And we're actually going to uh, add some algo to our network so we have some uh, liquidity in our network so uh, go to tinyman.org you're going to click go to tinyman it's going to open the tinyman app and the first thing that it's going to want to do is um, connect a wallet so click connect a wallet here uh, again we're going to use the para wallet and we're going to go through the same steps we went last time to actually pair the para wallet it's going to present a um, qr code which we need to scan so scan that QR code. We're going to connect to Tinyman. And once that's connected, we now have access to our algo funds um, inside Tinyman. So now what we can do is we can actually um, transfer algo to, um, well, first we have to set up a pool. So we want to click pool. And we want to add liquidity. Or we'll, First, we'll create a pair, and then we'll add liquidity. So we're going to set a pair up for Algorand to 
our token. So you have to click select a token, see all. Um, you want unverified assets. And you can see my mine token or my mine coins show up. So I can now um, add liquidity to my um, mine coins. So obviously this is an unverified asset. You can go through the process of uh, verifying it with Algorand if you want to. So we're gonna create this pool. There's a small fee for that. Um, so now again, it's sending this to my um, Para wallet. I'm going to confirm that. And you can see that it's creating my, my pool. So once this is done, uh, others will be able to find um, the Algo or pool available on um, Tiny Man. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some liquidity to this. So um, let's say we want to add, I don't know, 50 um, coins. And we'll say that 50 coins is uh, a max of uh, $10 million. So that will be uh, the liquidity of our pool. So we're gonna click opt in. Again, it's going to send a confirmation to my um, application here. And we're opting into this token. And then we will add some liquidity to our uh, pool. So we're gonna confirm the supply. And I am going to receive some tokens in my application here. Now it's sending the transaction. And we'll confirm that. Transaction is processed. And now my um, algo to or pool minting is complete. So now I have um, or to algos. So you can see that uh, I right now own 100% or 100% of the pool. Um, and what's cool is after a while, we'll be able to actually look up the uh, price of our, um, our cryptocurrency on tiny charts. All right, now that we have created our tiny man pool, what we can do is we can actually swap Algorand for um, mine coins. So what's cool about this is that other people can do this as well now at this point. So you just would have to tell them about your, um, your coin. And um, to do that, we're gonna select two, and we wanna say see all, Un hide unverified assets. They could search for it, but since I have this pool in my wallet, it already knows about it. So I'm gonna click uh, mine coins, and we'll just do like five Algorand, and that will get me um, 906,000 um, ore. So it's warning me that there's low, um, <laughs> there's low uh, liquidity in the pool, and that's true because I did not put that much money in there to actually create the pool. So we're gonna click swap, and uh, we're gonna click confirm swap. And now it's gonna prompt me um, inside my Para wallet to accept this transaction, which I'm gonna do. And now you can see that it is actually sending my transaction. So I'm taking five algo or about a dollar and 80 cents and you can see it's created that transaction so um now if you go uh back to uh, my wallet what you're going to see in my para wallet is actually that um it has or so if we actually go to algos you'll see here that uh now i have 902,000 uh mine coins and what's cool about this now is I also can see this on Tiny Charts. So Tiny Charts is a tracker for um, Algorand assets. So um, mine coins are here. You can see that the price has gone up uh, 21%. Um, and that the, if we refresh this, it should pick up the supply owned in a little bit. So um, you can see that the price went up here because I actually bought those, um, those mine coins and now they're part of my wallet, so that kind of like drove the price up of my mine coins. I also have another asset that I created the other day, Atom Coin, and you can see that this one, um, the supply is actually owned by two wallets. So it's funny because I, I purchased this and went through the same process I just went now, um, but someone else purchased two million atoms, and that uh, also drove the the price up a little bit. So um, it's kind of cool because now uh, you have this visible asset available that people can search for. Um, and purchase things. So you can see here that now, again, um, the supply is owned by me. You can see here's my 902,000 ore that were purchased. Um, and that's like, you know, the top two asset holders here. 
So um, in this video, we went through how to create your own cryptocurrency. And now you can see that uh, people can go out, connect their pair of wallets and purchase the cryptocurrency that I created uh, in this video.